Welcome everybody to RGTV Weekly Gaming Update Episode 3. I'm yours truly, Kelvin, and you may also call me Killer316. And before I start RGTV Weekly Gaming Update Episode 3, I'd like to say that I plan on uploading at least two or more videos every week from now on. One of them being RGTV Weekly Gaming Update, and the others being whatever else I would like to upload. So, let's get started. Number one, Batman Arkham Knight trailer. Whew. I have to tell you guys, I have another reason to get a PlayStation 4 now. Batman Arkham Knight trailer looked fantastic. I believe the game takes place a year or two after Batman Arkham City, which I absolutely loved. But the Batman Arkham Knight trailer looked fantastic. It's also going to be released this year in 2014 for the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One and, of course, PC. We do not know if it will be released for the Wii U unless they already said that it won't be for the Wii U because, let's face it, Nintendo is not getting any love at all. And there will be no multiplayer for Batman Arkham Knight and we will be able to use the Batmobile. It's about damn time. I've always wanted to drive the Batmobile to see how it is, how awesome it is, and all that good stuff. So, I'm very excited to play Batman Arkham Knight this year. I definitely have to get a PlayStation 4 now. Number two. So, it's a we get the release date for Watch Dogs, which is May 27th. Ubisoft, what the hell, man? It's about damn time we get a release date. Now, I feel the reason why Watch Dogs really got delayed was because of Grand Theft Auto 5. Because Grand Theft Auto 5, people are still playing to this, this day. It's very popular. And I guess Ubisoft didn't think that Watch Dogs couldn't compete with GTA 5. But I'm not saying that's the reason why. But I feel like that's the reason why they did that. But I could be wrong for I know. But it's good to know that we're going to get a release date for Watch Dogs. I mean, that we have a release date for Watch Dogs. Number three. So, Tomb Raider... Made by Square Enix, which is the reboot for the 2013 edition, or the definitive edition, is to surpass 6 million copies sold in this month. They have made over 3 million copies sold for like the PS3, Xbox 360, and PC. And you, you guys should know that they released the definitive edition, which is 60 frames per, se 60 frames per second on... The PlayStation 4, and it's like 45 frames per second on the Xbox One. It's better. Uh, it just everything about the Defender Edition is better, and you can play it on the next gen consoles. Well, current generation consoles now. So that's good for them. Uh, number four. So The Last of Us is being made into a movie. Now, I just made a video of, of talking about The Last of Us movie of my cast choices. And what I think about the movie being made and how, what an audience will go towards and all that stuff. So, that will be my next video, which will be uploaded in a day or two days from now. Number five, Killzone is getting a DLC. Well, Killzone Shadowfall is will be called the Insurgent Pack, and the Insurgent Pack will include new character classes, three new abilities, three new weapons. And two new game modes. Well, Killzone Shadowfall is a game that I would buy personally for the multiplayer, but I do like the story modes for kills for the Killzone franchise. And Killzone is gonna be the game I play a lot when it comes to multiplayer wise, because I think that's one besides there's Call of Duty, Ghost, and Battlefield Four, but those are not games I want. Killzone Shadowfall seems to be the only one that interests me when it comes to multiplayer purposes obviously you'll get the insurgent pack for free if you have the season pass or yet or you have to pay for it if you don't have the season pass number six bioware has stated that they might make a remastered for the mass effect trilogy for the playstation 4 and the xbox one now this will be good for people that want to play the mass effect trilogy but they do not know if they will do this. They're thinking about it, but they said that they will let us know if they will remaster the Mass Effect trilogy for the PS4 and Xbox One. Me, personally, I say go for it. I mean, Mass Effect is a really great game. I feel like the experience on the next-gen console with better graphics and all that stuff will make it a, 
a much better game for people to enjoy, especially for those who haven't played Mass Effect or any of the Mass Effect games. Me personally, I won't get it because I just purchased the Mass Effect trilogy for the PS3. So therefore, why waste my money on that? Unless it comes with new trophies or something, then it might be worth getting. Plus, I wouldn't mind playing Mass Effect again. I never played Mass Effect 2 or 3, but I know those games are great because the first one was fantastic. Loved it. Number 7. Jack Trenton steps down as CEO of Sony Computer Ent Entertainment America. If you don't know who that is, he's uh, he was the guy that basically told us that the PS4 will cost $100 less and y you will be allowed to use used games and let your friends borrow them. Uh, I think it's DRM, co DRM protection like that we've been told about before when all the talk was about the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, so... I don't know why he wants to step down, I guess, I mean, he's been with the company for a very long time, for over like 15 years, if I'm correct, so, uh, we thank you, Jack, for everything you have done for us, and what you've done for Sony and for PlayStation fans, uh, we appreciate it, we love you very much, and thank you all you have done for us, so, that is the end of RGTV Weekly Gaming Update Episode 3. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Comment down below. Let me know what you think about everything I talked about. And you guys have a nice day. Thank you very much.